So we're talking sort of like a Nat's eyelash. We need to know where this thing is pointed to extremely high precision. Remarkably, BLAST will be held to this accuracy dangling beneath a balloon, well beyond the Earth's opaque atmosphere. BLAST scientists have managed this precision by using a variety of pointing sensors, reaction wheels, and motors, giving BLAST one of the highest pointing accuracies of any balloon-borne payload to date. As the BLAST assembly continues, it's important to understand that getting beyond the atmosphere by balloon involves handing complete responsibility for the scientific payload and launch to the Columbia Scientific Balloon Facility crew. So, so I'll be communicating with you all the time. While there are subtle rigging differences from launch to launch based on specific scientific needs, and no matter if launching from Sweden or here in Fort Sumner, New Mexico, the main layout of a typical scientific balloon flight train is essentially identical. This hands-on rigging remains one of the most complex and critically important processes. We'll, we'll set a show time, we'll come out, we'll hang the gondola, then we'll go out to the launch pad. It begins with the pickup of a scientific payload with a specially designed launch vehicle. And attached to the payload will be suspension cables that will go upward to what we call a truck plate. That truck plate is actually holding the entire flight system to the launch vehicle. From that truck plate, there will be a suspension ladder that will go over the launch vehicle, and that will connect down to the parachute separator unit. <laughs> 